To be able to do interpolation, we need to import our points. For this purpose, we import our points so that we can perform interpolation operations on these points. We can use the Saga section for the interpolation. In this section, we select the Raster Creating Tools option. As can be seen, there are various interpolation methods, which we choose based on our needs. We will use the IDW method for interpolation. From the Attribute section, we select the data which are elevation points. For the Distance Waiting section, specify the type of point waiting. For Inverse Distance Power, our Inverse Distance Waiting Power is specified. For Search Range, we can specify what our operating range is. The number of points specifies how many points you should use for your specified range. We enter the specifications according to our needs so that the interpolation can be done accordingly. After hitting the run option, wait for the interpolation to complete. It can be seen that the interpolation has been done. We can use several types of interpolation in the software for our work. The next interpolation method used is cridging, in which, like the IDW method, we enter the specifications and parameters as needed. Using the Vector and Geometry Tools options, we can draw Delaney Triangulation. This is done by selecting the Delaney Triangulation option.
From the same path, we can proceed to draw Voronoi polygons. It can be seen that the Voronoi polygons were well drawn for our points, 